Uh, one thing I noticed on this thing is, okay, so if I hit Alt R, we're still in preview render mode, which is cool. And on this one, you're gonna see this box right here should be more rounded. So because it's just a live Boolean render, I can always go back in here. And because this one is just dynamic, it's just a super simple box. And you're gonna see I have Q grid on. Um, in this case, what I probably wanted to do, and what I kind of did do, as I had Q grid on, let's turn that to, I guess, four, and I need some more options. So I'm gonna go over here to our geometry, dynamic subdivision, and I'm gonna change this to a chamfer and see how it kind of rounds out those edges. And I'm also going to widen that. So we're gonna change that coverage here to just widen that out. And let's turn on our smooth subdiv to like two, maybe even three. There we go. So we were able to, and this is all dynamic. If I go turn dynamic off or I do shift, so D turns that on, shift D turns it off. And you're gonna see, I've got this really nice cube in here, but all it really is is just a plain old cube. And then if I turn that back on, it does a nice render. And if I turn my render back on, these are all live. So it just updates. So now this is much more accurate to this thing than it was previously. So that's the cool part of using dynamic subdivisions and live Boolean renders is you can do stuff like that.